Good afternoon all, Sava here from Sava Talks Football, working in conjunction with Henry Wright TV. It's quite simple, the caption says Conte out. So guess what? Conte out. Let's be really, really honest, we all skirt around the point, we really want it to work with Conte. Conte's done this, he's coming, he's got us top four, blah, 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 it's all great. Is it? Is it great? Are we really hanging on to this notion that Antonio Conte is the right man for a team like Tottenham Hotspur that need a complete rebuild, they call it, but I'm going to call it a build. Are we hanging on to this notion? Are we really? Let's look at this. Let's break this down. Since the man's been here, yes, he got us into top four, which seems to be a trophy for so many fans. It's top four, top four. And by the way, I blame Daniel Levy because he's put that in our minds. I blame Arsene Wenger. He's put it in everyone's minds. Top four. It was a miracle. No, it wasn't. It was a really bad league last year. And we picked an Arsenal team to fourth. An Arsenal team who imploded and had no goal scorers of any mention, of any note. Now I look at this. I look at all the cups he's been knocked out of since he joined. Let's be really, really honest. Let's be really, really honest here. The cups he's been knocked out of. He's been knocked out of the Europa Conference League with defeats at Moura. Moura, the lowest ranked team to ever be in a European competition. We're going to blame that on what? I'm blaming that on Levy. Uh, I'm blaming that on Levy. I'm blaming that on Conte. I'm blaming it on all of them. But Conte's got to be better at managing to get us through those games. Middlesbrough away in the FA Cup. Embarrassing performance. This was this wasn't even our B team. This was a, a this was Tottenham away at Middlesbrough in the Cup. This was a really good Tottenham team. Lost that. The two semi-finals against Chelsea last year. Embarrassing. Both embarrassing performances. This year, away at Nottingham Forest in the League Cup. Embarrassing. Embarrassing against that. They made nine changes to their team. This is a relegation threat at Nottingham Forest team, and we saw how bad they were this weekend. And that was their first team. Their B team beat us and knocked us out. And then moving to Sheffield United. Sheffield United, I mean, to say it was their B team, they made eight changes due to injuries and illness. So when I look at that, I think, what is the what is the craze around this guy? Yeah, he's won. He's won with big players. He's won with the best players at Inter Milan, at Chelsea, at, uh, at Juventus. Cool. I'm not knocking the man for that. But that's not right for Tottenham Hotspur. It's really not right. If anyone truly thinks that Antonio Conte is the way forward and he's going to build and he's going to be this manager that goes for a, a project for three to four years, where have you been? Where have you been? Are all the noises about him not enough? All the complaining he's doing? Yeah? All the, all the cryptic messages that he started off with, I've not come here just for fourth. And within one year, that turned to, you guys have to lower your expectations. Sorry? He didn't come here for fourth. Now we've got to lower our expectations. And in the midst of it, telling everyone what a great job he's done by saying getting fourth is like winning the league. So essentially what I'm hearing there is you've just become another Levy mouthpiece, which is what everyone said he wouldn't be and he would call it as it is. He's turned into that mouthpiece. Look, whether you like his style of play or not, that's completely up to you. I wouldn't tell anyone what to, to think on that front. But for me, it's not right him being here. It, I just can't see it. If I'm wrong and in the summer he signs a new contract, cool, I'm wrong. And he signs a new contract, we get behind him. But do we truly believe this is the right way to go? Do we truly believe that Antonio Conte is going to get backed the way everyone keeps using this word backed? It's not. Do you truly believe that the Bastonis, the Vardials, the Madisons, the Lotara Martinez is? Do we truly believe they're picking Tottenham Hotspur over other clubs? Do you believe that if Harry Kane goes, that the players like Victor, Victor Osserman will want to come and join Tottenham when every club in, the, in, in, in Europe will want a striker? I just fail to believe it. So for me, get to the end of the season, let this guy go and have a plan. Get a manager in. And talking about managers... Talking about managers, which managers would you get in? The three that are being talked about massively at the moment. You've got Fonseca. We're going back to Fonseca, apparently. And um, Fonseca was obviously in conversations with us when uh, before the Nuno debacle happened. And we didn't hire him. 
Managed at Roma, managed at Shakhtar Donetsk, doing a good job at Lille at the moment. Not been at the big, big clubs, but maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need a manager that's not been at the top, top clubs and expects world-class players because that's not how we operate. Now, yes, people will go, Daniel, Daniel Levy and it. Yeah, of course, but that's not how they operate. It's not going to change. So could Fonseca be that guy? Lots of rumours today and the odds of him joining our club have slashed dramatically today. They've slashed dramatically. Potch has got out to six to one. And this guy, I think I saw somewhere was at two, two and a half to one to join our club. Tell me, what do you think about Fonseca? Let me and Henry know. What do you think about Fonseca? Then we look at Steve Cooper's being Steve Cooper. That's a left field one, isn't it? Steve Cooper. No, I wouldn't want Steve Cooper. I think he's a very good coach. He's worked his way up through the ranks. He's done a lot with the England FA setup. Is he is he ready for a Tottenham Hotspur? I would say no. But does it matter if 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 we if, if if the winners that come in aren't backed? Does it matter if we then get a project manager like Cooper? I'm not saying I want him. I'm just asking questions. And then you look at the the big name that's linked with us. I suppose the Luis Enrique, ex Spain and Barcelona manager, a man that's won the treble with Barcelona, a man that's managed Messi. Suarez, Neymar, he had the MSN. What do you think? Would you would you take him? I love Luis Enrique as a coach, but my worry again, if you bring in a name of that calibre who plays his ticka-tacka style of football, which requires every player to be technically sound, what do we do? We've not got that in the club. Who can play that in our club? Who can play the ticka-tacka? Kane? Benson core maybe. The defenders certainly can't. Skip wouldn't be able to. Hoiberg wouldn't be able to. Sun could have said these aren't ticket tacker pipe players. These are these are go at you players. These are direct runners of the ball. These aren't slow the game down, pass move, pass move. So would a Luis Enrique even be even be feasible? I don't think so. Where do we go from there? Which managers come in? All I know is more and more. It's looking like Conte's going. I don't care if Conte's going. It won't be before the end of the season because we're still in contention for top four. I believe we will get top four, which is the remit set by the club. But have we moved forward? Have we moved forward as a club if we just get top four again? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Now, look, what I don't want to do is say, oh, we're only there because Chelsea and Liverpool have had bad years. Everyone's where they are in the league by merit. That, what that doesn't mean, though, is that myself and other fans have to enjoy that football. Yeah. Would the football get better with Conte if we gave him top-class players? Probably. But would it get better to the point where fans enjoy watching Spurs play? That's down to the individual uh, beholder. That's not a, a sweeping generalisation that I can make. So all in all, Tottenham Hotspur, again, we're, we're looking like we're going to have another debacle, have another circus. Does he sign? Does he not? Has it been talked about already? Why are we waiting till the end of the season? Lots of talk that he's let go of the lease on his flat in London. Lots of people saying that he, he wants to be with his family. Some people saying he's fallen out of love with football. I don't know. You tell me. Tell me. Tell Henry. Who are you taking? Any of the three I mentioned? Are you chucking in another manager? Does anyone truly believe Conte is going to stay? Let me know your. Let me know your thoughts. And remember, guys and girls, it's just football. It's opinions. Much love. Let me and Henry know your thoughts. I'll see you soon.